This is a very simple module in which we examine a few programs that will enable us to see the contents of files. Now if a file contains nothing but text, it's very important that these files that we are looking at in this module are text files. They don't have to end in a .txt extension. Remember Unix doesn't have much to do with extensions. But it must be a file that we know contains text, such as an HTML file or something similar. Then we can use the following programs to examine those files. First is called cat. It's a very, very simple program. It just takes the contents of the file and displays it on the screen. Let's have a look at that. In my directory, I have uh, a file called sample.html. Well, HTML we know to be a text file, so we'll have a look at that. sample.html. Oops, I forgot to put the word cat at the beginning. Cat sample.html. Let's try that. And there it is. Those are the contents of that file. Now, you can probably see that the contents have scrolled way off the top. So I can't see the beginning of the file. It's just been dumped onto the screen. And I only get to see the last 25 or 23 lines of that particular file. So what if that file happens to be thousands of lines long and I want to look at it bit by bit? I want to essentially read it top to bottom. Well, I can't use cat to do that. I'd have to use another program. Let's have a look. There's a program called more which displays exactly the sort of same sort of information as cat does, but it displays it to you one page or even one line at a time. Let's have a look at that. Let's try the same thing using more sample.html. And now you can see that there is the prompt that I just, uh, the command I just typed in there, and here is the beginning of the file, and I'm 14% of the way through the file. So now, to see some more of the file, I could press Enter. Now Enter will just give me one line at a time. Or I could press Space, the space bar, which will give me another page at a time. Space, space, or Enter, Enter, Enter. Now, if I get to the point where I don't wish to read any more, then I simply type in the letter Q, and I'm dropped back out to a shell prompt again. It's fairly simple. That's all you pretty much need to remember about more. The enter key, the spacebar, and the Q. What else is there? Well, we've got head, which displays only the first 10 lines of the file, and tail, which displays only the last 10 lines of the file. Let's have a look at that. Head, sample.html, and we get just the, ten, the first 10 lines, and tail of sample.html is just the last 10 lines. It is actually possible to use all of the commands I've just mentioned, cat, more, head and tail, to display multiple files. So for example I could say more another.txt and user.list all on the one command line and now that, so you can see there's a header there for another.txt and more is telling me I'm ready to display the next file, please, which is user.list. So I display user.list, and then that's all. And cat works in a similar fashion, and so do head and tail. So now we know how to display the contents of text files.